Hello, I'm Rich from Mixing Audio Pros. We're here in South London to visit Pat Collier. I started almost 40 years ago now. I started at Decca Studios in West Hampstead. And I was 21, 22, working on orchestral stuff, MOR, classical. I more or less every style of music showed me all the ropes. And then I was in a band that uh, got a record deal. And when you're 24, you just go, I'll do the record deal. Yeah. So we did the studio recording, which was great. Did it at Whitfield Street, the old Sony studio, CBS studios as they were then. Steve Levine tape hopping. Perhaps he should have produced it. <laughs> Iggy Pop Tour, where he came back with the idiot with Bowie playing keyboards. That was fascinating to do. and we supported Blondie and did the British and the European tour Pistols did you know did the 100 Club Festival did played in Amsterdam with them the day they got dropped by EMI I then had a bit of money from being in the band and a rehearsal room which I put together it seemed to me that recording was the way forward I bought a little four track and a 16 channel desk and off we went and this coincided with the beginning of kind of indie records and I learned more about recording rock and roll obviously there with my four track than I did working in Decca but I could record you spend a couple of years and you work away at it and you scrimp and save and buy gear that you can't afford and cost more than your house and you don't tell your wife what you bought and all that i mean i still love doing that that's that's what motivates me to do it i love working with bands and getting them to get the sound that they want it's a joint effort it's not something i do i don't say i'll tell you how to make your record it's your record you tell me what you want and i'll try the best i can to help you get it you've got to know how to do it you've got to we'll do it together It's all guitar bands for me, punk bands, indie bands, guitar based stuff. That's what I like to do and that's what my experience is. Being in a band, although it's a bit of a laugh and everyone, you know, it's it's great. It actually is pretty stressful. So it makes me appreciate that bands aren't, you know, this is a hard job basically. And there's a lot of other psychological elements that you have to be aware of. I do think I can relate a bit better and I, I think I'm a bit more understanding of the way they act in, you know, in certain respects. You have to have an ego. You can't be in, a, you know, it's difficult to be in a band and not be a rock and roll ego. You've got to cut them a bit of slack. And in a studio, you know, they're performing basically. So, and so if you can establish a relationship where you feel that, you know, okay, I know what you're going, you, we both know where we're going. So let's try and get there as, as nicely as possible. That's the secret of working in a studio. Over the years, I've had pretty much all the stuff that you could ever desire. I've had vintage Neve desks, Fairchilds and Val compressors and Neumann 47s and all. It doesn't actually make such a great big deal. It's nice to have it, it's nice to use it, but that does it on its own does not make hit records. The gear nowadays is so good that you, you can use more or less anything. Reliability, when I started, reliability was the major factor. They would, when the valve mics were replaced by FET mics at Decca, they chucked all the valve mics out the window because they were unreliable. 60 peak orchestra, and if, you know, 20 minutes in, it starts crackling, you've had it. You know, it's, it, they were a nightmare. And they even had a valve desk when I got there and with, with the quadrant faders and every morning it was bang, bang. To make, reliability is the secret. And t nowadays you kind of got that, life's easy. Computers, man, it's such a, it's a holiday compared to working audio tape. I, although it's nice to use old stuff, it's not vital. You can, what you're actually after making is an interesting and good sounding record and you can do that with pretty much any, any reasonable working gear. What was the best decision I ever made was definitely taking the job at Decca. I did get another offer of a job, but the Decca was the right place for me. It was great. They were so nice to me. And the other thing that is vital you do when you start on this road is to marry the right woman because they, you know, they're going to have a hell of a life with you, basically. If you're working in a studio, things aren't good. And mine's been very, very, very helpful.